So Anika, my name is Screw Chris with Tag Muay Thai. Today I'm going to show you a proper Muay Thai stance. Okay? When you think of a Muay Thai stance, if you're building a house, what do you build first? You build the foundation. So there's three ways that we can get proper foot placement. Right over here, if I have both my feet together, okay, I'm going to pick up my, I'm, I'm right handed, so my right foot is the one that's going to be moving. I got my toes, I'm going to lift it up, I'm going to go ahead and pivot out to a 90 degree angle. I'm going to go ahead and get on that toe, and I'm going to pivot, put it back down. I'm going to lift up my toes, I'm going to rotate on my heel. And right over here on that fourth movement, I'm going to keep my toes at a 45 degree angle. So you can see I'm lifting up the heel, and I'm going to push it straight back. Now what you're going to see is that I'm going to have my heels up off the floor. And the reason that this is important, this is used as absorption. In order for me to get better balance, I'm going to go ahead and jump up, and you'll see that I have more stability. From here, that foot is going to be important because if I have both my hands out right over here at a 45 degree angle, if I go ahead and put my toes forward, what you're going to see is that my hips turn and they're both the same distance. When I say same distance, they're both wide. So if you look, you don't know which is my jab or which one is my cross. So as I go ahead and switch it out, you're going to see that this is going to be my power hand. So that's how I get that positioning. Other ways that I can do it. Okay, this is an easier way. We have a plus sign. If you look on the floor, you have one, two, three, and four. Right over here, I'll put my foot, my lead foot, on this first box, and then I'll put my rear foot on that fourth box. Right over here, I jump up, I just make sure this is at a 45 degree angle, and that's how I get that base. Other options that I have, if you look right over here, I have that tape. I'm gonna use this where I put my lead foot, it's gonna be straight forward, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my rear foot, and I'm gonna find a happy medium where I'm moving forward and back. What I wanna make sure is happening is that my lead, or my rear lead foot, or toe, does not touch my heel. So if I had a line in between, you're gonna see that I'm gonna find that happy medium. And I just move up and forward where I feel that I have stance. Okay, it's gonna be very important that what you'll see is that my uh, lead shoulder is directly above that lead heel. What you're going to see, if I'm back over here, if you'll see a lot of fighters, they'll have their feet too far back. You can see that that weight's on that, on that rear foot. If I come too much forward, you're going to see how off balance I am. I've got to find that happy medium where that lead shoulder is directly above that heel, and then I have proper stance. Once I find proper positioning on my feet, okay, I'm going to work from the bottom up. I got my knees, it's just gonna be a slight bend. Okay, I don't wanna to say too much of a bend because then people will be dropping their body too much. However, if I'm going for, if I'm fighting a wrestler or a grappler, then guess what happens? My base starts to move up, I'll bend a lot more because I wanna be lower than that person. So for Thai boxing, I wanna stay tall and high. So I'll have that slight bend in my knees and as I go to my hips, you're gonna see, because of that rear foot, it's gonna determine what's happening with that rear hip, where I check myself. So I always tell people to check themselves, jab, you got that cross, that jab and that cross. From here, with the body, I'm gonna keep it tight. So when I keep it tight, it's gonna be concave. See, as my shoulder is above that heel, I'm gonna keep it in tight, expecting to get hit, and my shoulder is gonna be forward, and you're gonna see what's happening with my movement. From here, we talk about our hands. I'm just gonna roll my fingers, I got my thumbs, I put it, place it on top. And what I'm gonna do with my forearms and my elbows is that I'm gonna just pop it out to the side. Other ways to check myself, I can touch the bridge of my nose, or other option is I put my thumbs in my ears and I turn it and I stay relaxed. Elbows are right here, natural protection. Chin, okay, my chin is gonna be back. You'll see a lot of people put their chin down, but you'll see what happens when I put my chin down. My head is exposed, somebody's gonna snatch it. So what I wanna do is I wanna put that chin back so that my, I can look at that person's chest and my head is up tall. So I got the stance. With the hand positioning, because this is gonna be longer than my rear, right over here, you're gonna see it's a different type of angle, but the hands are up. I wanna make sure that the hands are up between my bridge of my nose and my mouth and when I'm moving it, right over here. Now, with the eyes, we're focusing on the chest, we're using our peripheral vision to look at the four points of contact. When we talk about the four points of contact, 
We're talking about one, two, the shoulders, and the hips, three and four. Okay, whatever I'm doing, if I'm throwing that punch, or if I'm throwing that kick, that's what I'm looking for to move. Okay, so this is a proper Muay Thai stance. Right over here, okay, looking it from the side, and then the opposite side. With the hand movement, and then I can put my own movement into it, moving my hands back and forth, nice and relaxed. That's a proper Muay Thai stance. Wake up.